Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Erica, if this happens to be your first time here. This is the first time I've done like a full home tour. I have had my YouTube channel for over five years and I've always wanted to do a full home tour and it's just never worked out. But now I wish so badly that I had like done one every year so that I could see the changes in my home throughout the years, but I just have never gotten around to it. I do have a playlist full of holiday home tours, kind of like, home decor tours, things like that, spring home tours. I will link that playlist down below. And most importantly, I will link a playlist down below that is full of room makeovers. So every room in our house has been made over and I have a video on it. So you'll hear me say that a lot through this video, that there's a video on that. So if there's anything that you're interested in that I didn't talk about, check out the playlist down below. And in each of those individual, individual videos, there will be information regarding paint colors, links to different things that I bought. So if there's anything that you're interested in, make sure that you check that down below. So just a little history really quick and we'll get started. This is a home that was built in the 40s. So it's in the house itself is in its 80s. And we've lived here for 18 years. We were a family of six, so we had four kids. Three of them have moved out, so we only have one child living at home now, a teenager. He's our youngest. And so it's this house is actually almost 1,100 square feet. It's a two bedroom, one bath. And we raised four kids in this house. So we did utilize our basement. We have an almost full basement and we have finished part of it. And through the years, different rooms have been different things and we just made it work. So I just thought that I would make this video for my viewers and also those of you who've never come and watched any videos just to give you an idea of what our home looks like. So I'm starting out here on the porch. We did redo this porch a few years ago or a little over a year ago. There will be videos of that link down below and it was just an open porch and we made it a screen porch. So I'm going to start out here and then we'll go inside and I'll give you a tour. All right, so this is going to be a very realistic home tour. You hear the animals barking <laughs> in the background. We also have five of our own, and you'll see them through the video. So it's just realistic, real life. We live here. So if you see something that's not perfect, it's because we're not perfect, and we're real, and this is a real home. So this is my front porch. I love, love, love this front porch, especially in the spring and summer. It is such a nice place to come out here. I love to sit out here with my animals and I love to read or whatever. It's just so nice. And I'll just give you a look at the whole thing. Something I thought I'd tell you as we go along is future projects that we wanna do, things that we wanna change still. Like I said, we've lived here 18 years, so there's a lot of things that have changed, but there's a lot still to do. One of the next, well, one of the big projects we really wanna do is get new windows. We do have a few new windows, but we have a lot that still need to be replaced, so that's a future project. and I can't wait to have all new windows. It's gonna be so nice. So this is just a look at my front porch. Super cozy, such a great place to sit and read and relax. And now let's go inside. So this is the view when you walk inside the house. We have a pretty open room right here that is a living room, dining room. When we bought this house, you can kind of see on the ceiling, there was a big closet there. And so it separated these two rooms and it really, really took away a lot of space. And so one of the first things we did in the year or so after we moved in was to remove that closet and open this space up. So it definitely is where the family likes to gather. Everyone gathers in this space and we love, we love our living room. It is small, but it is totally big enough for us. So I did redo my living room about a year ago. I painted it. This color is called sea salt. I do remember that. <laughs> I won't remember every color, but I do remember that. Um, we just got our furniture off of Facebook Marketplace. And if you follow along, you know the process. I bought new couches, didn't like them. We stuck them downstairs, but I found this one. And I'm learning to love it. It's very comfy. It's not quite my color scheme, but it is comfy. And it's nice and it was perfect for like the holidays when the kids were here. This is Belle. You'll see her a lot, I'm sure. And there's Oliver, <laughs> our two dogs. But uh, this is kind of like my workspace over here. I, I, you know, when I edit my videos and it's not the most beautiful, but it is just realistic. So like I said, it's realistic. And this is my little glider rocker where I sit, put my feet on the ottoman. This can move around. We sometimes put it over there, but mostly it stays right here and it works perfectly for me. So this is the entertainment center that I kind of put together. I bought some shelving units off of Amazon and this is a fireplace that I got from Lowe's. And then my husband just built the top part of it. 
And so it's way really inexpensive, and I think it looks like an actual entertainment center that you would have purchased. And of course, that is all in my living room makeover video. And this sign above the entertainment center, my husband actually made it, and then I used my Cricut to write the words on it, so that's totally homemade. And over here is a picture that we took a couple years ago of our family. I absolutely love this picture, and I put it in a frame from Hobby Lobby, and it always gets a little crooked. <laughs> but the white frame is actually a screen that I got from the Habitat Restore for $1 years ago, and I love how chippy it is, and it just kind of makes the frame look bigger. That is one of my all-time favorite thrifts, thrift finds. So then moving into the dining room, we have some photos of our kids on their wedding days. My favorite, I absolutely love those photos. Those are my favorite photos, of course, of each wedding day. Love them, I love having a photo of all my family. And you'll see that I decorate a lot with photos. So this is my dining room. The dining room has been made over before, but this is a future project. We're going to be doing, we're going to making, be making some changes in here, not major, but there will be some changes. Hopefully this year that will be coming. I did paint this faux barnwood wall a couple years ago, and I do have a video on that, and I love the way that it looks, and it, I literally just used paint that I already had. It didn't cost me anything. So it's not wallpaper or anything. It's just done with paint. Super inexpensive and actually very quick project that was finished within a day. I got my furniture in here also off of Facebook Marketplace. I redid the table and chairs. They were just that oak color and I really love them and I got the rug off of Amazon. My husband made this cat bench for the window so that they can look outside and it also has some scratching posts down the side so we have three cats and they love to look out the window so I wanted them to have a little perch of their own and then down there is a drinking fountain for them. I got this hutch also off Facebook Marketplace and I think it is the perfect little size for this dining room. I was looking for so long for the perfect little hutch and it was blue and I painted it white and I put new knobs on it and when we redo our dining room there's going to be a little bit of change to that which I'm excited for. And then we got this chandelier off of Amazon and this over here is kind of like a shoe bench where we would store shoes inside the baskets when it was by my front door. Now we just kind of use it for extra seating but I found that actually on the side of the road. Someone was throwing it away so I painted it, made a cushion for it, and put some baskets in it and I love that piece. And this is just an old window from Habitat Restore and I put a piece of wood board behind it. It's, it's kind of like a panel board you can get at Lowe's. and nailed it to it and put a wreath on it and I think it's beautiful. So this is a look at the dining room, living room. You can hear my dryers going, but like I said, realistic, we live here. I do use this hutch for seasonal decor, so pretty soon I'll be doing a Valentine decorate with me, and I will be doing, I'll be showing you what that looks like. So right now it looks pretty bare. I just took Christmas down, but eventually that is gonna be full of red and white and pink. And then after that, I'll be adding some spring touches, and it's gonna be dressed up a little bit, but right now it just kinda looks a little bare. So now we're gonna move into the kitchen, and like I said, my dryer is going. It's just, it's just necessary right now, but our kitchen is something that we have focused a lot of our attention on in 2020. So two and a half years ago, we did fully gut this kitchen and start it over from the drywall, and I do have a full series on that kitchen renovation because it took months to get it finished, and. We spent about $7,000 putting into this kitchen and it was worth every single cent. And the main half of that budget was because our countertops were too low to put a dishwasher and our window was too low. So we had to literally have them remove the window, 
raised the countertops. We put new countertops, new cabinets, because we really wanted to fit a built-in dishwasher over here. I had used a portable dishwasher for years, which worked fine, but this was my dream. So we really had to go down to the studs. We had to make our window a whole lot smaller and half of our budget went to just that part of it and then having everything the electric electric and plumbing for the dishwasher but i love it so very much i have never regretted redoing our kitchen we it was really really bad when we started to take it apart we did not know that the cabinets were in such bad shape and it, it was so necessary to do that but we just got cabinets from lowe's we hired a contractor to come in put them in this is countertop from Lowe's as well. We did very everything on a very tight budget. I do love this huge sink. I definitely recommend a one, what is this called? A sink with one, you know, <laughs> cut out. I don't know, a double sink or a single? This is a single. I love it, it's so deep. I love this faucet too. It's a Moen faucet and it reminds me of like an old water pump you know outside of, of an old farm but I got that at Lowe's everything is linked in the kitchen makeover videos though if you're wanting to know specifically my mixer is one of my favorite things I got these stickers off of an Etsy shop you can just look at mixer decals and they have all colors all kinds I think they're so beautiful and I love white appliances. I know stainless is really in, but I have always, always been partial to white. So that's what we have, and I love them. And over here, we just added another cabinet, and then instead of a cabinet on top, I put open shelving. And I have done a video where I was talking about things that I would do differently if I redid my kitchen. One of those things was to put, I would put a cabinet there instead of the open shelving. But that may come in the future. For now, it works fine and we do like that extra space over on this side. And then going back into the center of the, the kitchen, this is an island that my husband Marion built and I just told him the dimensions, I told him what I wanted, exactly what I wanted and he built it exactly the way I said. This color is called Icy Teal and it is my absolute favorite paint I've ever used. It, uh, I don't know what brand it is, but it's just called Icy Teal and it is just the perfect blend of blue, green, and gray to me. And this piece on the front was actually above our window in our old kitchen. And I think we lived here about 16 years before we redid the kitchen. So it was very, something that was very important and special to me was to keep a piece of the old kitchen and add it to the new kitchen. So he added that to the front. And I love this little island. It is small and my kitchen is probably technically too small for an island, but I use this every single day for every single meal. So. I could not, I would miss my island terribly if I didn't have it. And another fun thing over here is this spice shelf that my husband made and I love it. I just put, this is a, a piece I got from Goodwill but it came from Hobby Lobby. I'm thinking about painting this the, the same icy teal as the island. I think it would make it pop more and I made that little sign with my Cricut. And we chose to do beadboard for the backsplash because I love the way that it looks. I think it's so farmhouse. And also it was so incredibly inexpensive. At the time we did this, it cost us two sheets of beadboard, which were $20 a sheet. So we did this backboard for $40 or this backsplash for $40. And I absolutely love the way a beadboard backsplash looks. So one of the things that I still would love to do is redo the ceiling and redo the lighting in here. That was something that we did not get to when we did the kitchen, but one day I would really love to do that. And for the flooring in here, I just chose these peel and stick tiles, just a gray and white kind of marbly look. And it gives it kind of a bright, I love a bright white kitchen. And so I really didn't want to carry the wood floors into here. I just wanted it to be super light and bright. For me, that is what I prefer. So off of the kitchen at the back of the house, this is actually an addition onto the original house. So 
I'll show you this side in a second, but this side is our laundry room and also kind of like my pet's room. This is the dog dishes and then the cats are up here. Obviously the dogs would eat cat food if I left it down. So that's their little area and this is where we keep their litter box. And this for years and years and years was our pantry. We did redo our pantry, which I'll show you in a second, but we did that last summer. So it's only been about six months. So for the other 18 years we lived here, this was our laundry slash pantry. For now, these are just empty. You can see that this is all very old and we took the shelving out and we've repurposed those, but this is the open sort of space that it is right now. But this is a future project. We are gonna rip all of this out from floor to ceiling. This is a pantry down here and then there's extra cabinets up here and this is all gonna go and we're going to open up the laundry room it's going to be a lot better a lot roomier we haven't finalized our plans yet there's some things we really want to do but we're not sure if we're going to be able to so we haven't started on that but definitely be looking for that that will be coming in the future but for now it works fine we just put a shelf up there and i keep my laundry products up there and like i said this is kind of used for our pets so this is a constant uh, area I have to clean multiple times a day because the pets use it too but it's super convenient to have this right off of the kitchen I do really really appreciate having a laundry room upstairs because originally this laundry room was downstairs before they put this addition on the house so I'm very grateful for this I do get questions a lot also about the bricks on my kitchen wall and I actually made these with joint compound and masking tape and it took me an entire week and I did this years ago and I have a video on it as well and then when we redid our kitchen I really wanted to keep that wall so I just did some more along this wall in the spaces where you could see because I didn't want to have to rip it down it, it's um, it's it's I loved it and I still love it and I have whitewashed it a few times just to lighten it up but but I really love that so that's not something that that's just a homemade um, you know with joint compound and tape and it takes a lot of work but you can also buy board that looks like brick and you can whitewash that and it gives you the same kind of effect but I really loved the look of that so over here, this is kind of like a mudroom area-ish. <laughs> it's our back door area where the dogs go in and out constantly. So of course, this is another area I have to clean constantly. But I did do the faux barn wood on this wall as well. And I would love to have a storage area right here for years and years, I wanted to, but when we opened the door, it would hit it. And so it just didn't work out. But that was before I had my pantry, so now that i have my pantry things are very different when we bought this house there was no wall here it was just one open room but when we had our last son we needed a space for him that was quiet you know for a new baby so we built this wall or i should say marion built this wall and so now it's a closed off room this has been multiple things it's been marion's office my office madison's bedroom michael's bedroom um, jackson's nursery and now it is my pantry and this to me is the greatest thing we've done besides my kitchen to this house look at this amazing pantry so for a house my size this is a massive pantry <laughs> i would never want to go back to not having this pantry i absolutely love every single thing about it it is so functional it is so perfect we are filling it up fast i definitely uh, think constantly oh well, i'll just store that in my pantry and so it's filling up but that is totally fine as you can see i still have you know room I can add things we have plenty of room for groceries and anything we need anything that is doesn't fit in my kitchen comes back here to my pantry so there is an entire video about my pantry where I showed everything I did so go check that out if you're interested but just just an overview that's my baking center these are my recyclables and then we have pet food down there small appliances just storage over here on this side I wanted to have a countertop back here it's just convenient for so many things so I had my husband he completely built this by hand himself he and my son actually helped but we designed it and he built it and then I painted it and it's absolutely everything I wanted it to be just so much storage I wanted open white shelving 
and I like to have things labeled. It's not crazy labeled, but it is nice to have some of the things with labels. If you watched that video, I got a lot of comments about misspelling potatoes, but I have fixed it and I put the E in it. That was funny. That was just a, a big com topic of conversation when I did this room. But I store my drinks down here, water, cat litter at the bottom. And then over here we have some baskets with like shoes and we put all our, our pool chemicals and things like that. Well, not chemicals, but like the pump and the goggles and things like that in the summer. We don't need those right now, but also just got this Bissell Crosswave. So I have to figure out where I'm going to put it, but I've used it only once and it is right there drying. And there's the box I need to throw away. But up here I have my coat and my hat. And then in the summer we hang our towels here when we come in from the pool. And then of course there's like dog leashes right there. And then behind here is a couple hooks for my aprons. And then I also store my vacuum and my carpet cleaner in here as well. And this flooring is called Floor Pops, linked in the, the video for the pantry. And I love them. I kind of wish I did like my bathroom, my laundry room, a couple other rooms <laughs> with them. I absolutely love them. So here's a look also at the wall that I did, the faux barn wood, the little mud room area. And then walking through the kitchen over to the right. So coming into the hallway, we have these corbels that Marion made for me and I love them. He made them and then I painted them and distressed them. And they are my favorite thing that he's made me so far and I would love to add them to like every doorway. I think it would be so fun. But uh, the hallway, I do plan to do a hallway makeover, actually. At some point, I have plans for in here, and I think it's going to look really nice. On the wall in the hallway, we just have some of the wedding pictures from our kids. Again, I just there's just not enough wall space to display all the photos I want to display. But over here to the left is our son Jackson's room, and there is a video on this. We put new flooring in here. This was original hardwood floor like the rest of the house and this flooring is different than what's in the rest that both the bedrooms have this this is my favorite I would love to do this in the whole house but it's a it's very difficult to lay down it would really it really hurts Marion's back so we'd have to probably pay someone and we're just not there yet we haven't decided I, I would love though for these floors to be in my whole house I do love them I'm not going to go too into detail in here because this is his private space but it is his bedroom we just have you know Typical, typical boy's room. He's got two windows in here. This used to be our room for years and years and years and we switched rooms because the two windows, it was difficult with our bed and he's happy in here and we're happy in the other room. So this is his gaming desk and he loves Rubik's Cubes. He has a, quite a collection of Rubik's Cubes. And he doesn't have closet doors in here. I'd love to redo the doors or I'll show you the doors in our room and then You'll know what I mean, but for now we just have a sheet hanging up with a curtain rod. He's got some storage up there, his clothes, and at the bottom just his dirty clothes hamper, skateboard, things like that. And I did paint this wall as well with the faux barn wood. That is from years ago. I think I did that about five years ago, and I've never painted over it because I really love it, but we have changed the wall color in here a lot. There's Ollie. They're going to be following me around the whole time. <laughs> So coming out of Jackson's room, it's to my back. Over here to the left is the ba bathroom. We have one bathroom and we've raised four kids in this house. Two daughters. So three ladies <laughs> and we've made it work. And my dogs are barking. So this bathroom, I would love to one day just completely gut like we did our kitchen and just start, start over. But for now, 
it works and I did redo I have to redone this bathroom a couple times so those videos are linked down below and I did on this wall you can see that it is uh, what is this called like a panel board but it looks like tile and I was thinking I, I always thought I could never paint it and one day I just got brave and I used kills paint and I painted it white and that has been the best paint I have ever used in the bathroom and then I went in a couple years later and I did the faux brick on this as well and then I just kind of like used like a black paint and went over them and I just love the way that it looks I did it just on this one wall and then I left the rest with the white wallboard but my dream would be to rip it all out and redo it we have replaced a lot of things in here we replaced the vanity the toilet the window the flooring we have done a lot in here but like I said, my dream would be to just rip it all out and start over, but one day maybe. And here's a look from the other side. There's our towels. You know, towels, toothbrushes, all those things. Um, this is our linen closet, and I do actually have a video on redoing my linen closet. So it's dark in here, and it is not the neatest, but I'll go ahead and show you. I did get a little, I don't know, a little crazy when I was doing the faux barn wood and I thought I'm going to do the whole closet like this. So I did the inside of it and then I painted the shelves and the brackets and I love the way that it turned out. Actually, it looks so, so much better than it did before. I could, it could use some decluttering for sure. There's some things I could get rid of. These are like our summer towels, like for the pool and then regular towels down here. And then there's laundry at the bottom, but I'm not going to show you that because it's dirty laundry and I don't need to show you that. <laughs> so, but this is what the inside of the closet looks like. This was a weekend project and it looks a whole lot better than it did. So coming out of the bathroom over here, we have two doors. This is the door to the basement. And it, for some reason, it's a small door. It's a really small door. You can see how small it is compared to the other door. But I'll take you down to the basement in a second. But this is our bedroom. And like I said, same flooring as Jackson's flooring. I love it so much. I did paint my doors gray a couple years ago. Just saw a house with them painted gray and I thought it was beautiful and so painted all my doors gray. I don't remember the exact shade of gray, but it, I think it complements the white trim and I just love the look of it. So of course I do, there's my sweet Ollie. He's following me around. <laughs> Ollie, you don't know who I'm talking to, do you? He's the sweetest. Um, we, I do have a video, a full video on my bedroom makeover. It's been about a year since I redid this. I think a little less than a year, but this is one of my favorite rooms in the house. I haven't really changed anything since I redid it because I just love it so much. We have pretty much had every room in the house as our bedroom, downstairs and upstairs. And um, this is my favorite one. So this used to be Jackson's room and I had redone ja it when it was his room and I added these doors. We, we bought these from the Habitat Restore. For, they were very inexpensive. I think the doors and the handles and the paint and everything cost me about $50. And Marion had to cut them a little bit to fit, and then I just painted some faux, made them look like faux, like barn doors, but it's just with paint. And then I bought some handles at Lowe's, and they don't fit perfectly. We have to kind of close them together to make them close, but before that it was just a sheet. And then they kind of get stuck on my carpet down here, but... It's okay, they, they keep the closet closed, which is what I need. I need my cats to not get in here, so... Um, this is our closet and it is still green. My girls used to have this as their room and we painted it green and there was no doors on it and it matched, but it's still green. One day maybe I'll get in here and actually paint my closet. But for now, it's going to stay green. And they're a little creaky, but so is everything else in this house, so it's no problem. Then here is just a view of the bedroom. I love the color of the walls, this green color. It's not quite the icy teal, but it's very close. And then this while I also did the barnwood look but I did it a lot darker and so I've come in multiple times and lightened it and 
what you know whitewashed it until I got exactly what I wanted and the truth is this is wallpaper I just painted over the wallpaper the walls underneath the wallpaper are plaster and they are terrible so we didn't really have a choice except to go over the wallpaper and I don't I don't mind it in most places except you can see like along, along the corner there it's all bubbled up but unless I wanted to tear it out and re drywall the walls you know it has to be the way it is and you can see right there Marion patched a hole and I need to paint over that he patched it and didn't ask me if I had any more of this paint before he patched it so I was like please always ask me because if I don't have any more I'm gonna have to repaint the whole room but we put this shelf above the bed which I love I haven't touched it since we did it I love the way that it looks I love shelves and I think it's a really great way to like display a lot of things but not look too cluttered because it's all combined you know contained to the one shelf and of course I can put photos on it which is what I love this bed we got off of Amazon and there's my Ollie again <laughs> um, the bed we got off Amazon the bedding as well the lamps these are some old nightstands that we picked up from different places one was my brother's hand-me-down one was one that my niece found on the side of the road and I just spray painted them to match so that they you know don't they don't look exactly the same but they they match well enough I do get a lot of questions this is not the most beautiful way to display cords but when you have an old house you have very few plugs we have very few plugs in this house so I have to have cords everywhere it's just the way it is but I get a lot of questions about this contraption and I think Marion got this on Amazon it's just to hold my iPad so that I don't get a crick in my neck when I'm watching it and it's just so nice I've had it for years and I um, I can't I'll try to see if I could find a link for it but it's been so long and I'm, I'm not sure I'm not sure if I can but that's what that is It just holds my iPad and I'm able to you know lay down in bed and watch watch Netflix YouTube whatever I want to watch and then I got this rug also off of Amazon it's all linked in the bedroom video and then this mirror over here I got this from home goods I believe it's kind of like smaller than the big big mirrors you see but it's bigger obviously than just one of those little small full-length mirrors so it works perfect for the size of bedroom that we have Okay, so now I'm gonna take you down into the basement. You've seen the whole first level. So this is going downstairs into the basement. And over the years, we have utilized this basement for so many different things. It's been so many different rooms and I uh, can't even remember all the things we've done with it. But now that we only have one child living at home, we're able to use it for some different fun things. So these are the stairs going down. And when you get to the bottom of the stairs, to the right is well, it's my craft room, but it's also kind of like a catch-all right now. I did redo this room about a year and a half ago, I want to say, or two years. It's been two years. And since then, I have used it so much, but I've also found things that don't really work as well and some things that work, you know, differently than I thought. So this is a future project. I'm definitely going to be decluttering this. As you can see, it's just kind of overrun with stuff right now this is kind of, kind of like where I throw all my pillows this is like bags and ribbons and wrapping paper and this was all kind of left over from Christmas wrapping and then we've just got a bunch of storage in there over here's my paints my Cricut mats and then just a bunch of different things and I don't use some of this so in the future I will be going through and getting rid of stuff that I don't use and just making this room more functional for me and this is a span around the room. This is over in that corner. It's all storage. Those are the cornhole. That's the cornhole set my husband is working on. If you remember, he made that. And he had to strip one of them down because it messed up. But he's still working on that. But we have this oil tank that's just always here. <laughs> kind of in the way, but it is what it is. We just work around it. There's my boy. There's my boy. Ollie. But over here in this corner, this is... This is bad. This is just a catch-all. This is Valentine's decor that I am going to be putting out soon. This is just like home decor. This is wrapping paper. And then that's my old recliner. So my plan is, this used to be a, a walk-through, but now you can't walk through. So my plan is to get rid of all of this. 
maybe put my recliner down here, open it up, you know, where I can actually use it, and then use this space more, maybe like an office slash craft room. Also, we're having a granddaughter soon, very soon, so we'll need some space for baby things. So I have a feeling this room is going to kind of turn into a multi-use room. For now, it is my craft room, and I do use my desk. Marion made me this desk, and then we put a bookshelf, a small bookshelf on the end, and that's where I store my Cricut and stuff. So it definitely comes in handy when I need to wrap presents or use my Cricut or just certain projects. This is really, really, really nice to have. This room has been multiple kids' bedrooms and storage area, and so now it's my craft room because we don't have any children that need to use it. So it is nice to have a space for me. And there's my stairs. And then over here to the right of the stairs, we do have a TV that broke. We had to get a new TV for some reason. It just broke. So we have to take that to the dump. <laughs> but we have this walkway right here to the unfinished half of the basement. Marion put this little ca caution tape up here so because people are always bumping their heads. But this is just an extra remnant of carpet from when we carpeted the stairs. So over here is a pass-through under the stairs, and there's this sliding door and there's also one right there so there's two ways to get in but that's of course blocked and my plan is to unblock that and get all go through all of this stuff needs to go to donation and yeah I really need to declutter and that is coming so right here on this side is was this was originally built for our daughter Madison this was her bedroom but now that she moved out this is Marion's theater slash office so I'll take you in here I hear his TV so I'm going to tell him we're coming okay it was just his music he turned it off he's in here working but we're going to come in and just take a look I do of course have a video on this I actually have a video a video series of when we ripped out everything in this basement and built this room that is pretty fascinating to see before and afters but this is just I do have a video of when we redid I don't know if I have a single video for this I don't know if I do, but I'll, I'll see what I have and I'll link it down below. But this is Marion's man cave theater office slash, you know, all the things. So over here is where he has his like work area, obviously. And he's obviously a lover of Marvel and superheroes and all those things. So <laughs> this is his, this is his decor. All the little gadgets he's been given by the kids and me over the years, but this is where he works. He works from home. So down here, because we do occasionally get some water trickling in, we just have these super inexpensive rugs that we can roll up if water does come in. And this is the couch set that we did have upstairs that I just didn't like. They were too hard, but he likes them and he loves, the, they recline. So they're perfect for down here and they fit the space perfect. And then there's his TV with DVD storage. He's going to build a DVD rack to put all those on. So this is his big TV. He loves to watch his woodworking YouTube shows on that. And then he has a bunch of... Jackson got him this, I think, last Christmas. All these little figurines. And then over here in this corner, he has his comic books. He has a massive comic book collection from when he was a kid all the way up till now. And one day maybe he'll pass that on to the boys. But he now finally has a space to like keep them with him or he can just they're organized and he can get to them when he wants to so he loves having this space now that we only have one child at home come on come on you don't want to be stuck in here okay so coming into the other side of the completely unfinished basement remember this house is in its 80s so definitely looks like it <laughs> this is basically the other half of the basement that is not finished. So I'm just going to give you a span around and let you see from side to side. So that's the hallway going into the finished side. Over here on this side, obviously right here is storage. This is a little foosball table that we're using as an actual table at the moment. There's our pool and all of our tent and pool stuff, summer stuff, and then there's some yard tools over there, but Marion uses this side for his woodworking. He built all of these pieces himself, and he's got a couple new saws, and he's just really, really enjoying having a place to do his woodworking. That's something he never could do when we need, needed the space for our kids, so he is really loving it, and our daughter-in-law made him this uh, sign for Christmas because he, we are about to be grandparents. He's going to be Poppy. So this is Poppy's workshop. My dogs are barking <laughs> as usual. 
And then this is the other side, which is just used for storage. About a year ago, we came down here and did a massive declutter. And when I was done, this whole side was pretty cleared out, but we've since accumulated some new things. These are our daughter's washer and dryer. They're just being stored down here for now. And then these are actually gonna go in my craft room when I redo that. This is trash we need to take to the dump and both of these or recycle and then we've got some other things there but over here I need to go through these bins still these are just full of things I need to go through but the rest of it is where I keep all my holiday decor my bins and then this whole uh, thing right here is just full of paint and painting supplies so it is nice to have it all contained so I know where to go when I need to get anything off of that shelf and then this is Christmas and Valentine's and July 4th fall all the things the wreaths flowers decor these are our window boxes that go out on the front porch Marion made these so I just took them down for winter but they'll go back up in the spring so this is where we keep all of this stuff back here and that's our pool ladder and if we if I ever do take the time and actually go through all of these things We'll have a lot more space, but for now it's just for storage and it works fine. Marion actually puts a tarp up along here when he does woodworking because the dust, the sawdust just covers everything. So it does help. There's still some that gets through, but it def definitely does help some. But that is the unfinished side of the basement. So that is it for this home tour. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I think that I will do a summer home tour because I want to take you in the backyard. There's no, there's nothing to see right now in the winter. It's just bare and ugly. But in the summer when we have the pool set up and the grass is green and uh, you know the deck looks nice, I'll take you out there and show you that. So make sure that you're subscribed if you want to see that video coming up in the in the future probably June or July I'll do that once I have everything dressed up in red white and blue because July 4th and summer is my all-time favorite so it's gonna be fun I think I will do that in the summer and then I'm gonna be doing a full home tour once a year I think so that I can go back and see how things have changed along the way so thank you for watching make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these kinds of videos and I'll see you guys in my next video bye bye